Class in today's lesson, we're going to be doing scarcity in chapter three and supply and demand and all that fun stuff. So get up to your clickers and get ready to go. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Hello, this is Mike. Hello, Mexico. Three hours, yes. I'll be on the next flight. Yes, I'll bring the taquitos. Class. I have to go. Bye. Woke up, got out of bed, and rubbed my face. Want to test my econ knowledge base. Economic decisions at a rapid pace. So sit back, and I'll take you to that place. Scarcity affects all mankind, including that rapper who just got signed. The student switch his project was assigned, and a businessman whose credit is declined. Economics is the study of the choices that people make. Individuals, governments, businesses all have a role to partake. To say that all my wants and needs are limited is a big mistake. Mom says I have to choose to work and play. Give me a break. Now listen, these choices do not come without a cost. Whenever you make one, a trade-off you come across. The highest valued alternative for gone is the next best thing that you wanted, son. You may feel like it can't be one. Opportunity cost is a drag for everyone. When a choice is made, it is at the margins. So with every decision, there comes a bargain. Now aside from all this legal jargon, there's benefit and cost, as Professor Parkin. Terrorist, terrorist, this would be more effective in Spanish. Terrorist, terrorist, London, Ontario, I sure do miss. The law of demand tells us that the higher the price, the less we want. Supply law is the opposite. If price is low, buy more too flat. Some goods are inferior. These products turn their rules around. When income gets higher, their sales go right to the ground. We all have wants and can't be met. Instead of things by the car you can't afford yet. Raise your income or interest will put you in debt. Play it safe. It's a risky bet. Economic growth expands what we produce. Capital accumulation and trade off at some reviews. Technological change put resource to good use. But some countries won't give up consumption. They'll be at a disadvantage in the future. Let's allocate resources. By market price, you're out of damage. Want to Fair results or fair rules. But then no one would have incentive. Taxes, bring in efficiency, and transfer costs would waste more than we can see. Should we have a rent ceiling? The concept is quite appealing. But then there would be a black market and laws. This definitely does not seem like a good idea to give our off. Should we raise the minimum wage? Should we in a range? A price war? That sounds great. What if we legalize a tax rate? We will see some unemployed folks. Economics is the best. Scarcity will be here. That is not possible, so we have to make choices. Micro, micro, econ, econ. I love econ. <laughs>